On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up a Welly Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine. We gotta go back in time and date our mom. Ew, that's what the movie's about. Scott vs. Box. Box! This is the Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine. Now I know what you're saying, like, no, it isn't. It looks too small. Look at the size of your hands. Well, that's trick photography. This is just trick photography. Like, it's just camera angles and such. This is a real thing. They put it in a box and sent it to me. I have the real DeLorean time machine. So, what's up on that? 124 diecast metal. Made by Wele. Collect all three. All three? All three versions? Well, we'll have to find out some more about that. So, you can see it here. DeLorean time machine. Warning. Choking hazard. Like, like a child's going to put this entire car in their mouth? What kind of mouth this kid got? Like a regular uh, Laura Flynn Boyle mouth or something. Back to the Future, one of the greatest movie series of all time. Don't argue it, it is. He was never in time for his classes. He wasn't in time for his dinner. Then one day, he wasn't in his time at all. I don't know, it seemed like he was on time for his dinner. That wasn't really a thing. In class we saw that, sure. You mean to tell me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Marty McFly's sheer amazement of Doc Brown's newest invention. After all, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? After witnessing an incident, uh, an innocent time travel experiment in the Twin Pines Mall parking lot, Marty found himself beyond, behind the wheel of Doc's sleek new invention headed 30 years into the past. In a matter of just one day, he managed to change the course of his own history by altering the first meeting of his parents, George McFly and Lorraine Baines, thus erasing his chances of ever being bored because he had sex with his own mother. That's how that ended. That's the whole series right there. And then he went to the Wild West. Yep. Incest galore. Go back in time and have some incest. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, these are all three versions. All right. Oh, I can see there's some there's some differences there. It's got the, the lightning rod. So when he picks up the 88 miles per hour, you go... <laughs> Shoots back in time, and it's got a little extra stuff, and then it's got more extra stuff, like more futuristic stuff. So let's let's, uh, let's open this up like a real nice, like, cause it's a nice package. You know, sometimes if something looks real real sweet and dainty, I don't wanna I don't wanna mess it up or nothing. So let's uh, let's take out the uh, the DeLorean. What Back to the Future movie is your favorite Back to the Future movie? Oh, this is like a diorama. Look at this. Is it number one? Number two? Number three? Look at this. Look at this, you got Doc Brown in the in the radiation suit and you got Marty in the in the life preserver. Ah, uh, and then that all folds out right there. Look at that. Oh, look at this. And the car's probably attached to some weirdo thing down here. Alright. Let's figure this out. Oh, I got the rod! I got the fishing rod. Alright. Um, and then how do you oh boy. This is gonna be one of them things, isn't it? Uh it's a look at this. It's attached and like some this weird thing. I don't want to just yank it off because it seems like that's part of the part of what the piece is supposed to be. So I don't know what to do. Instead, I think what I'll do is I'll just start showing this off and put this thing on here until I figures it out. All right, Marty, Marty, you gotta go back to the future and get me some eggs. Deleted line. It was in there, but you know it was deleted. So we got the car. Is there anything? Ooh, there's tape on it. Ooh, why is there tape on the car? All right, let's figure out if we can remove this tape on here. I don't think Doc Brown ever intended for there to be a strip of tape on the, the, the DeLorean. Hold on, I've been drinking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. Ah, uh, Libyans. Darn you Libyans putting tape on this car. Ugh. Uh, oh, I almost got it. It's those pesky Libyans and their tape. I tell you, when you ask for plutonium and they give you tape, it's just a crime against humanity. There we go. Got it. It's all right, everybody. I got it. All right. So then, oh, you can't open the doors. Radical. So this opens up. Oh, that's so cool. It's got all the, can I see the flux capacitor? It's in there. Oh, it's really hard to see. It's in there. Trust me, it's in there. And then, ah, uh, Doc. Uh, when you put it in the fourth gear, uh, what does that do? Shut up, Marty! I'm in the bathroom, taking a dump! And then, see these DeLoreans? They got the foldy up 80s cars doors, which are really cool. It's a really cool design. 
but apparently they ran like junk. So then you got all this, and then at a time is the license plate. Iconic, it says DeLorean on the back there. Oh, this is so cool. I don't want to ruin this whole case, but look at this. Cause I might, I might just put this up on my shelf in this way. Like just sort of reform it and have it all up like that, boom. Oh, the DeLorean, Back to the Future. If you've never seen these movies, get on out you to the video store and pick you up a VHS cassette tape. Back to the Future DeLorean, back in time. So wraps up another exciting unboxing video. But wait, there's more. Subscribe to Scott vs. Box by clicking right up here so you never miss out on another Scott vs. Box video. And send me something to this address right over here and I'll give you a free plug on my show. And if you want to see even more toy unboxings, click right over here and you'll see all kinds of stuff like cars, Star Wars, Moshi Monsters, you know, all the stuff that the babes dig. What's up, babe? I got toys. Oh.